For over a century, the technology used to measure and monitor earthquakes has remained largely unchanged. But now, scientists are using modern sensors to get more accurate and widespread information. Brian Hackney shows us how fiber lines, the type that give us access to the Internet, are helping Bay Area seismologists. We're at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory at Building 121. And inside Building 121? We monitor earthquakes. Gene Ichinose and Tim Brandt monitor them inside this room using this machine, the interrogator. What's it interrogating? The fiber. Fiber optic cable, that is, which Tim taped to the floor, and even the lightest tap is digitally recorded. And that's a big step forward. So we're at Coyote Point in San Mateo, and this is a seismic station. USGS seismologist Anne-Marie Bolte climbs toward more familiar gear. And this is the more traditional way of measuring seismic waves? Yes, this is a very high-quality instrument. This equipment gives us the familiar traces of ground motion, but there is a downside. Right here, we have one recording at one location. It only tells us about the geology right here. But hundreds of miles of fiber optic cable already buried under the Bay Area not only brings us the Internet, it brings us thousands of virtual seismometers measuring the tiniest tickle of ground motion. After we plugged this in in our experiment, we noticed immediately vehicles drive around city streets. We saw Caltrain, and then we saw our first earthquake. We are coming on the air tonight with an earthquake that rattled the East Bay. We recorded the Dublin earthquake, uh, interrogating the full 80 kilometers. That means instead of a few seismometers recording local shaking, Gene's machine recorded ground motion every 30 feet along 50 miles of fiber optic cable buried from San Francisco to Sunnyvale, the equivalent of 8,000 seismometers. This is probably one of the best recorded earthquakes with such density and scale. And more data could someday mean more insight. Take Northridge. Maybe $50 billion worth of damage in 30 seconds and a total surprise. It's on a previously unknown fault. Is it possible to uncover a hidden fault with this new system? Yeah, it's possible to uncover a hidden fault because we're getting, again, information on a very fine scale. Another tremendous upside of fiber, it's cheaper. Installing this single traditional seismometer costs about $100,000. For the same money, the interrogator virtually installs thousands. Fiber's already in the ground. You don't have to do any digging. And since the buried fiber might be much closer to the next epicenter. For earthquake early warning, we want to catch an earthquake right as it's beginning. And every millisecond counts. Every millisecond counts, and then we can get you a warning a little bit quicker that waves are coming to your house. The more modern technique is shaking up seismology. Um, and it's going to open all kinds of doors for really creative, interesting studies for us to understand the Earth better. The scientists tell us this technology was developed at Stanford nearly a decade ago and is now being rolled out by the officials at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory.